Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today I will explain how to run predictive model markup language PMML in decision tree 9. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression tasks. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of decisions to predict a target variable. It's a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or values of the target variable. Now, how we can run PMML? Let's see in 9. So for this, we will go in the canvas of 9. And first of all, we will activate input output. I'll activate the read. And in that also, I'll activate the CSV reader as my data set is in CSV format. I'll double click on it. The browse button will appear. I'll browse the file from here. My data set is heart one. Heart one. Click open. Click OK. Now, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Now, I want to build the algorithm which can classify the heart disease on the basis of the independent variable that is age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours. So I want to filter some of the variables and for this reason I will activate the column filter. Double click on it. Again right click on it and configure. I will remove all the variables and only include age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise and heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now I will activate the color manager from here. Right click on it and configure. Let's see. Uh, if a person is having the heart disease, it is indicated by a red color. And if it is not, then indicated by green color. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the decision tree learn. Right click on it, configure, make sure that the target variable is a heart disease, click OK. Right click on it and execute. You can again right click on it and see the decision tree view. How to interpret this decision tree we have already discussed in my previous video. I'll refer, I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos. Now I'll activate the PMML writer. Connect this, right click on it and configure. So it will ask me the location where you want to save this model. So I'll say browse. I want to save the uh, model with the name. I'll give the name as this is entry. Let's say we are giving the name this is entry. I already saved previously also this one. So let us give the new name as this is an one. Save. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. So the model is saved as decision one. Now let's activate the new canvas. So I'll go here and new workflow. Click finish. And I'll be on the new canvas. Let us activate the new data set. CSV reader. Browse. This time I will include the new data set, which has not been used to train the learner. Well, this time I'll be using heart one test open click OK right click on it and execute now activate the PMML reader so this PMML reader 
will locate the model which you have saved from using the PMML writer. Browse D. So we had saved the model with the name decision one. Open. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate. PMML predict. So this predictor will get its learning from this PMML reader and it's, it will get the data set from this CSV reader. This is a completely new data set which we are feeding to the algorithm. Configure. Again click here and click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the predicted data. So here we are having the prediction and here we are having the original data. How well our prediction is there? Again, you can use the scorer for this. How to interpret the classification accuracy? Kindly refer my previous videos. So configure and make the target variable as hard disease and the prediction is hard disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So seven plus two, nine cases have been correctly classified and one case has been misclassified. So this is the way you can use PMML models in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.